Great Awakening family, um, visitors and friends, you are very welcome. My intentions was not to come on here tonight because, you know, I've been um, dealing with some other things, but nevertheless, People is not taking this seriously, what's going on. When I first came on here, I was shooting a flare in the air. Look at the subjects that I talked about. What do a person have to do for you sleep sheep to come from out a hibernation. I'm not going to waste time on what you should have done. I'm going to talk to you about what you should do. I made a video about Timothy Cummings. I made a video about what to do in the case of the emergency. All these videos was done five months ago to show you that I know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me show you a little something, something. Take you on a little tour. Now I live here alone. Do you see this? Hold on, I'm not through. Because you all either don't care or have no clue whatsoever what's going on <laughs> and I talked to some of my family members you know cause it's like baby girl these people is in their comas and so they're not gonna listen look at this this is my couch but look Hold on, I'm not through. Cause key, 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 key. When they told you time's up, when Oprah Winfrey got on here and said time's up, y'all didn't take the clue. It still was one big joke. Look at this. gallons upon gallons you're not going to be able to flush your commo you're not going to be able wait hold on you see these this box is filled with candles and what not you're not you're not gonna have any electricity or none of that none of those things and so I came on here right because the love of God is in me I don't want to see no one have to cuz honey we finna go through it baby now let me I want to speak to people and a certain person knows exactly who I'm talking to. 
Now you all know that they have been saying that the pigs have this disease, right? Do you think it stayed amongst just the pigs? Prep your house. Prep your house. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hold on. I'm going to put this back on the stand. Because I need to make myself very clear right now. Right now. Now, like I said... It wasn't my intentions to come on here because me and God have a personal relationship. Uh, when I'm not here on YouTube, I'm reading, I'm praising and worshiping the true and living God. This thing has come to a head, right? You know, cause I have to pick my words cautiously, you know. Um, In the 60s, when the Vietnam War was going on, right, the stock market crashed. And anybody that had any money in the bank, it was gone. Imagine being a citizen of the law. And because it got so detrimental that the badge you swore by, you had to take that tin off and do what you had to do to save your family. Warning comes before destruction. And y'all, we as a people is just not ready. Everything is giggly funny. And all oh, they can't do that. What boat do you own? What plane do you own? And honey, none of that stuff is going to be worth dirt. Because they done poisoned it with GMO. Now, back to this money situation. Let those with hearing ears hear. Get your house in order. Because, like Michael said, this is it. This is it. When the Queen of England is telling you that you're worthless eaters, what part of that you ain't getting? It's the process of elimination. I kept warning people, you know, listen, you talking about what kind of uh, guns you got, what good is they with no ammunition? Nobody will listen to me. People call me crazy, downright, and belittle me, and all I wanted to do was help somebody at the risk of my own well-being at the risk 
of my own well-being, I'm making this statement. So keep calling me crazy, because I'm not. It's crazy to think that your house ain't in order. Because if you really truck if you really truly serve the true and living God, you'd have boxes of food stored up in your house. Water stored up in your house. You would have your documents in order. Now this thing gonna come like a thief in the night. And everybody still at the tavern drinking. Truck it. You work it. You gonna work it all right. And when them tanks start coming through the street. While you were so busy trucking it and working it. And at the tavern drinking. These last couple of years, this would be the third year, they changed the law behind your back, and you don't even know it. Look it up if you think it's a joke. They don't need no warrant to come through your door anymore. Because when this stuff hit the fan, all you know is you're going to be dead to the world sleep. Oh, it don't matter if you standing over the stove cooking. Your door gonna fly open. And you will see the U.S. Army put your hands in the air and start walking this away. Martial law ushered in. And the reason being, I did a video on Timothy Commons, and I asked you then, why do you think a young man, a young melanated man at 32 years young with everything to live for will walk off and kill himself? over a relationship that wasn't even nevertheless wake up people do what you must do to protect take care cause literally you know It ain't that much you can do. Now, let me tell you, this thing is a process, right? So, with the little time that you do have, you can make your outcome different than what people that's not prepared, that refuse to repair, that think that this is a joke still. You know, because Kiki, Kiki, everything funny. They can't do that. The government could do whatever they want to do. They run this country, right? And they tired of taking care of your bastards. It's cold, but it's fair. And I suggest you get a double dose of the Holy Ghost. And those that haven't repented, repent. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge the Most High God in all your ways. And he'll direct his path. And the safety of obedience. The father still sending the son to come and collect the little flock. So, with that being said, I love you guys. 
I've been praying for everybody, not myself. I can't live here in the earth by myself. But my house is in order. It been in order. You know, because either you know or you don't know or you don't care. Either way, the wind blow is cool with me. Because my house is in order physically, emotionally, and spiritually most of all. I'm going to make another video. I'll be back.